YouTube, it's Alicia here, and I got um a pretty good wrestling talk. We're going to be talking about a couple of people, so without further ado, let's get started. So, one of the pe things I wanted to talk about today is I want to talk about Dana Brooks, and I want to talk about Sonya Deville. I see much quality from them. They are top eight wrestlers. It's just... Let's just say Vince McMahon is visualing them as a mint card. Come on, if you visually is doing this, because to me, it's a lot of females on there that could be a top grade A wrestler. And with this, with this thing, I mean, if you put, and this is a match I really would want to see. And y'all, let me see if y'all uh, agree with me. I would want to see. Dana Brooks versus Sonya Deval, where one of the two um, wins. Now, both of them are hell of a good. Let's just get that out. Both of them are hell of a good. I can see both of them wrestling. I mean, Dana Brooks, we saw her recently get in, how you say, Ronda Rousey's face. And now this week, this coming Monday, she's getting a title belt opportunity. It must, like say. You go. It must be. It must be a term of saying, "Oh, jump for the one who got that title bill and let them jump on you." And hey, you get what you want. So it looks like she's getting what she wants. Now that she performs well, I think she is will be on her way of being a top superstar. Like I, I always, let me just say it. Like I always have said about Dana Brooks. Dana Brooks has that. Beth, she has a Beth Phoenix, Joni Lala quality to her. So if WWE just used her in the right way, I think she would be great. And I just feel like it's it's just, um, she just needs some new gear, a new persona, and baby, she'll have it. I am tired of, um, especially Wrestling Hub over here on the tube. Keep saying, oh, she ain't this. They need to release her. Uh-uh. My thing is, I don't think they should release her if they just give her a chance. Let me say, give her a chance. You give everybody else chances. It's her turn to get a chance for uh, for that women's opportunity to do what she loves doing. So, y'all, let me hear y'all. Do y'all want to see Dana Brooks hold a women's title belt? Now, another person I want to talk about is Sonya Deval. Sonya Deval for about the last um, couple of months now. I'll say probably the last couple, about six, seven months, four months, you could say. I have seen her help Mandy Rose try to get in the title picture and everything. Why you are helping her where you are more deserving for that title belt? You perform better than her. And I actually would love to see Sonya Duvall portray Mandy. That is, I'm, I'm, let's just say these eyes saying, I'm ready for. I'm ready to see that because I actually see Sonya Dev. I can see Sonya Deval going up against Oscar for the women's title, but I cannot see Mandy. Mandy is not a, like I've been saying. It's not a quality wrestler. I mean, Sonya Deval um, needs some work, but not much, just a little. But I say Sonya Deval probably could win that title belt. She probably could win the title belt. That's, that's all I have to say. She have, she probably could win that title belt. Now, to get me to say, I hope everybody understand that. That's how I feel about that. Now, another thing I need to talk about, I think we're going to be talking about a little bit more about the women division right now, is we haven't seen Mickey James in a while. And, you know, Mickey James is a wrestler and a singer, so... I wonder. Um, I want to see where she where she can go with it. And I know she's a um she's a mother first before she's a wrestler, and thing. I just would want to see more of her, see a little bit more of her. Now, to get me to say this, wow, Nikki Cross. I, I mean, we got to hear from Nikki Cross a little bit. This past week, and Nikki Cross has said, "Oh, um, Stevie Ray, um, Booker T's brother, trained her. Did not know that." To get me to say, I think that is pretty cool. 
that both of these guys are going to be attempted. I'm, I'm proud of that. But one thing I, um, I really want to see, I want to see more from Nikki Cross. That's all I need to say about that. I want to see more from her. Now, let me get on Lacey Evans. Like I told y'all, I respect anybody who served in our armed forces. I will respect them. But when it comes down to it, when it comes down to it, I will say this. This, this part, when it comes down to her, yeah, like I said, I do give her the respect that she does deserve from serving in our armed forces. But, um, you haven't did, we haven't seen you wrestle since the Royal Rumble. And I feel like each week is like one of the things I know Vince, what Vince is trying to do is they, they want her to be at the top superstar. So, like I'm saying, you want her to be top superstar. And as her being the top superstar, um, I can see her being the top superstar, but they need to gradually put her in the ring. And that's the, that's the next thing. They got right now, she's just she comes out there, she makes that walk around the ring every week. Instead of making that walk around the ring, Instead of making that walk around that ring, they need to make her perform inside that ring. I want to see what she can do. I want to see if she can actually wrestle Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, Sasha Banks, and Bailey, Naya, and Tamina. I need to see what she can do inside of the ring when it's not a big event. So, y'all, let me hear from y'all. Do y'all are y'all sick and tired of? Um, Lacey Evans just coming out there and walking around the ring? Or are y'all ready for Vince McMahon and them to start putting her in a match inside the ring? That's that. Now, um, let me just, I was, I wanted to come and talk about this. Um, uh, that people like saying, oh, um, like saying, oh, Daniel Bryan versus Kofi Kingston is going to be the main event uh, for WrestleMania. Nah, I don't think so because I feel, and this is just me, I feel it should be Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair versus, versus, um... Becky Lynch as the main event. Why? Because women has never main event. This will be the first time ever that women has main evented. Would we? Do I feel like WWE is fans is ready to see that? I feel like they are ready to see that, but it depends on how the how the vitality and the mind of Vince McMahon work. Okay, you or my Vince McMahon might be saying, "Okay, we can do that," but then at the last minute, change it. But I really feel it's time to see a woman headline WrestleMania. That's what it's time to hear. You have these women doing a lot of firsts, having our very first pay-per-view. And that, to me, it's like, I mean, they don't know if they're going to be doing a second annual um evolution. I think it would have been cool to do a second annual evolution because if they done the second annual evolution, they could bring women from the indie circuit that could bring them in and wrestle, have a segment with them in a and have a segment with them in a gauntlet match to see who will, who has has what it takes. So, I mean, that's that. Speaking of the women of Speaking of the women of the indie circuit, I feel it's a lot of new females that are out now that I feel that deserve to be part of the WWE. Um, it's some, it's, um, I hope I can pronounce this, it's Maverick. I know the last name is Maverick. Her name is Adela Maverick. I think that's her name. I think, oh my God, I would love to see um her in the Mae Young class. Speaking, that's what I wanted to talk about. The Mae Young class, I mean, I have a lot of girls I want to see. I, I have, oh my God, it's a lot of um big um names I have I haven't heard of that I would want to see in the Mae Young class. And then some people who repeating returning because I would love to see WWE do that. Now, um. 
can't think of her. Um, let me think of her name right quick. La, 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 la. Molly Hor Molly's it's Molly something. I can't think of her name at the top of my head, y'all. But it's a lot of girls that deserve. Now it's one girl who I feel that is on TNA that shouldn't be on TNA that needs to be released to be part of the Mae Young Classic. The reason I'm saying it like that is I'm saying Kara uh, Kira Hogan. Now Kira Hogan and um Kira Hogan and Kira Q looks so much alike, you wouldn't be able to tell them apart. But they both are good. Though these are some good females. Now, I was watching some uh, videos earlier today, and I have saw some real cool females that I like that I would love to see part of the May Young Classic. Now, one of the girls, I hope everybody, she much old, I think she'll probably be older now, but from W.O.W., Women of Wrestling, that's the name of it, is a woman on there by the name of Jungle Girl. I actually like. Oh, I was like trying to figure out why do I like this girl? And it and I couldn't figure out why. But then while I was out here, I said, I know why. She has she goes she's known as the jungle girl, but she has some moves just like Tamina Snooker's dad. Tamina Snooker's dad, Jimmy Fly Snooker. So I mean, WWE is a lot of girls around the world that's on these indie circuits that pretty pretty some of them do meet WWE's Meet the WWE's qualifications to be part of the WWE. Now, to get me to say, I want to know from y'all, who on the indie circuit do y'all think deserve to be part of the WWE? Now, I can never get off here with not talking about Lucha Underground. I can tell y'all about talking about Lucha Underground or Lucha Libre. As y'all know, I'm, I'm excited about the next season that's going to be coming, but... I want to ask y'all, how many of y'all is ready to see more female wrestlers in the WWE just build the female um, wrestling division up and have more? But how many of y'all think WWE needs more African-American female wrestlers in the, in, the, in the WWE? Because we got a good few on. We have a good amount on WWE. Main roster, and he has some on the um, um, how about one? I think one or two, um, NXT. So let me start. You got Bianca Blair, you got Naomi, and you got Sasha Banks, Alicia Fox. Those are the four black women I can name. But let's like, think of, in history, you have Jazz and Jacqueline. Those are the only two I can think of that have. To get me to say, I think we need more African-American female wrestlers in the industry. So that's one thing I want to see. Now, to come up to my last part of the other thing I need to talk about. Okay, as y'all know, at the moment, I don't truly care for Charlotte Flair. And... I don't really care for Charlotte Flair or anything. But the reason I don't care is I don't like that Vince McMahon just hands her opportunities and not make her earn things. You making Becky Lynch, Sasha Banks, Bailey, Natalia, Tamina, All, all these other rest, female wrestlers that are in the WWE and that's on the main roster to, how you say, earn their title belts. But then when it comes to Charlotte Flair, she's not earning her opportunity. She's not earning her title belts. So what is the problem with you just handing her that? To us, we got a problem with that. And I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, it's all got to do with Ric Flair. I love Ric Flair to death, but I'm going to tell y'all, that's my prop. That's my thing. I'm saying it because Charlotte Flair is Ric Flair's daughter. She's getting things handed to her, y'all. So out of all of the um, subjects that I talked about, 
Which one of these do you want? And I'm saying you want, you truly care about more. Which one of the topics that you truly care about more that I talked about? Till then, I'm Alicia. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Comment below and subscribe.